Hey Paul, uh, it's Chris. Just uh, finished cleaning the Cougar. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and present the car to you, I guess, using a camera uh, on, my, on my phone. Um, so yeah, so anyway, my, I've had the car for about two years and uh, here, I'll flip it around. I've had the car for about two years, two summers, two winters, and uh, I guess let's uh, let's go ahead and start. We'll go start on the inside. I just I just washed it, and uh, my brother and I also um, put uh, did some work with the coolant hose lines. I'll show you when we get inside. Um, but the drips just it's just water. I just I literally just washed it, and I drove over to my town center here in Haddam. It's pretty nice. I wish they didn't put so much sand down on the in the driveway, in the lot, but take a look. So, um, as I told you, the AC um, was declutched. I don't think it worked when I got the car, but um, the heater core just blew, so now there's no heat. It's bypassed. Radio works. Uh, sounds good. Uh, it has like this, you know, really good premium speakers that came with the Cougar. They sound really nice. Um, they sound very good. I, I, uh, the cassette player, I fucked up. That was my fault. There's a little bit of tape inside got caught. You need to use tweezers or something. Um, I think the cigarette lighter doesn't work. That needs a new fuse. I was going to maybe try doing that. Just now didn't get around to it. Uh, seats all work. Lumbar support works. Um, all positions work on the driver's side. And um, they're very comfortable. Even though my mom still hates hates going for rides in this car. But sometimes she occasionally will do it. Back seats are nice, like you saw. And I think um, this weird... The weirdest coloration, I think, is from... Um, the original owner, Tim, and his wife, they were smokers. So I can I can see that maybe they had their wrists on the armrest. And then the cigarette was uh, just creating this color on the uh, upholstery. The horn works. Uh, cruise control doesn't work. It's pretty simple. It's nice. It's a Fox must, you know, platform, which is nice for my... I'm like five foot six. I'm a tiny guy. And it's uh, very comfortable. It's like the Mi... It's... I can get nice and close to all my controls, sort of like the Miata that I drove out in California that my dad and I loved. Uh, lock, you know, the lock stuff works. So, uh, the mats are a little nasty, they're probably original mats. I mean, you, I mean, you've probably seen Craigslist, I mean, cars, this is probably nothing. I was thinking about getting new ones, um, but uh, you can see the coolant residue from the drip. From the, I think when I got the car, I think the heater core had always blown. And it wasn't until I got the new coolant hoses that were tighter that I think it started to go, like really go. So I think it always had the, the coolant issue. Uh, let's, let's start with the jams. You can see the jams are, the weather stripping is very fresh. Looks great. Uh, I, think the, I think the weather sort of resistance that went into this car is great. I mean, the water runs off really nicely. Um, there's no rust anywhere. This is sand. That's from me. Um, as you know, I'm daily drive it, but um, everything around the, everything, all the ceiling, all the gaskets. I mean, I even have an extra engine gasket for the rear, right below the dash. So we'll go on the other side, and then we'll do. I'll zoom out and we'll do the exterior in a bit. But again, it's it's like it's like. Not dry, it's slick. Like it's really, it's really impressive. On all sides, it's tight, tight as, a, as the car is. I mean, even the bottom one is in place. Yeah, totally dry. So nothing bizarre with the gaskets at all, or nothing like that. See the floor. That's my duster. I keep it. I always dust. I always keep it fresh. The Ford emblems came off. You can get those on LMR and glue them on. I thought about doing that, but I haven't gotten much, much into all that, all those bits. 
you can see there's a felt strip. Camera exposes here. Felt strip that runs down the side of the glass. It's nice. Um, so, you know, nothing unusual about any of that. I mean, obviously, there's no AC. That could be, you can, I mean, I know you, if you're looking for work, AC here to core, sort of the creature comforts, you know. Uh, steering wheel's nice. Uh, you know, nothing really bizarre. All the seatbelts work in the back. It's, I've had a couple of friends and stuff, or during graduation. And, um, the, the real lights, the rear lights actually also work. Um, which I thought it was really cool. I used to drive around. I don't know if, if that's legal. I used to drive around with the rear lights on. I thought they were so cool. But, pretty cool lights. The opera lights, as they're called. All this stuff works. Um, I think Tim, the original owner, he, he, you know, he paid attention to those particular cool things. Hold on one sec. So, yeah. Glove box. There's a little the cool felt. I think I saw I showed you this the really cool manual. I have my insurance stuff in there, all that for the dealers. I have a I have like a, a um sort of a summary manual here. So I got all that cool stuff. Some extra bulbs. You know. I got uh dryer tr dryer cloths everywhere to keep the mice out, which you'll the mice love this car. All right, so before we get into the engine bay, let's get let's do, let's, let's do the outside. It might be a little overexposed. And pardon me, I'm not, I'm not a film, I'm a stills photographer, not a not a cinematic photographer. All right, so let's start. Yeah, let's go side. Let's go back to front. So here's the nose of the car. It's it's pretty straight. I don't the grill and everything. Tim actually had a like, tape keeping all of it. this guy Tim, he's an older gentleman, really paid a lot of attention to make sure everything everything stayed in place. It was this was definitely his weekend car. Uh, but the front splitter is intact. Um, it's a little you can see you might, you might be able to see it. It's a it's a little it's really hard to see. It's maybe it's a little warped on the cougar's left side. It kind of comes up a bit. Um, that might be from the factory because it's all very soft, you know. This is before modern bumpers and all that, what, you know, all that stuff. Headlights all work. A big hood. You can see the, that's the scratch, still there. And, uh, and then we'll go here, let's go, let's go quarter to quarter. So, you see every. It's gonna be impossible, almost impossible to see everything inside here. Let's let it expose. But everything is just from the winter. But everything is dry. All right, hold on. Everything's very dry underneath. The dust covers with shocks. Shocks I was thinking about getting to eventually. I never did. They're they're not bad. Everything's very dry. No rust. It's just sand. I just just from driving over here. Brakes were all re resurfaced or milled or whatever you call it. Uh, I, Cleaned some of the, the rims. They look really good. They, I didn't. I thought there there was permanent stuff, and just 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 this winter, I started scrubbing it, scrubbing them. I could have done this two summers ago, and they look like brand new. <laughs> My twin gummies, five O badges. All the chrome looks pretty good. I'll do the bottom last. But you catch the light. Yeah, you know, there's a couple of the little dings, scratches. You know, it's patina. Here's the rear. I got a light for that. Uh, it has, a, you know, the original quad shocks. You see one there. Those dusty. Those dirty. I think one of them is leaking. There, and you can still see the blue. That's probably, maybe that's a little bit of the only rust that exists, other than the exhaust on this car. It looks like it's from California. Shoes were already done when I got the car. They were pretty shot. They just weren't looked after, I guess. So Tim's wife, he's an older gentleman. I think it's his wife has a um, nervous system. She has one of those diseases that she is going to handicap her movement. So he ended up selling this to get, I think, those mobile chair units for their hallway so she can get up and down the house. And that's a story I heard. 
Um, so he didn't, it didn't sound like he wanted to part with the car, um, but he ended up doing it. He had a friend actually sell it to me. It wasn't, I, didn't, I never met, met the original owner. Oh, I'm starting to rain. Shower. I think I'll still go. Here's the back fiberglass bumper. Um, here's the ding. And it's a little crack here. Let's see if it exposes. Uh, I don't think I even noticed that until after I bought the car. Um, you can see the, the yellow, a little bit of a yellow from the fiberglass. So this is one. Of, this is probably a cool project of sanding, priming, masking, painting. Um, bummer. It's it's from washing the car. It's starting to flake off. You know. Um, let's go around the other side. Pretty much identical. You're gonna see a little bit of a. Uh, probably catch the light and maybe a little, you know maybe they went to Walmart. I don't know. Back quad shocks look good over here. You know, stuff we replaced. I was thinking about, I really love the uh, Ford racing cars from like the GTO series, the 80s. I love to do gold wheels, lower this thing, make it like a, more of a touring car. I mean, that'd be sick. Uh, oh, I don't know. I'm tired of bagging people for four by fours and during the winter. I'm 25 years old. We have a big family, we're busy, well, we all work. This was, a, this was a great car. I still love the car. <laughs> Everyone loves it. How can you not like the Cougar? Here's the uh, front right. All the, pla all the plastic padding's there, totally dry. It's nice. You can eat from the bottom of this car. And then the uh, front right rim. One of these wheels is bent. I think this is the troublemaker. This actually is not perfectly circular, so if you want to keep the phone dial wheels, you can go with a uh, replacement. Uh, at home, I have two studded snow tires for the rear that I got from a, uh, another builder that I texted you about. Um, he is the chef's stepfather, who's we're working on his restaurant. He's a car guy. He has like tons of money, and he dropped off Steelys for this thing. This, this looks very nice over here. Um, paint coming off of the, the, the cover for the uh, antenna. I still have my school's New Haven permit. Which the wipers probably do for new wipers, but they're pretty good. I use Rain-X stuff, and you know how that is. It ends up fucking up the window surface and becomes, it becomes tacky. All right, let's look under the car. Let's see what this camera can do. I'm gonna get down here on the standy, disgusting floor here. But you can see everything is rather nice. And I tried spraying it. You know how it is. I have to get underneath. I gotta, gotta scrub it. Original exhaust, Y pipe. I have a flow master back there. So that's pretty good. Goes out to the rear. Here's the control arms, and you can see the springs. <laughs> very nice. Man, you put new bushings and stuff, this thing will be very nice. Very nice. Oh. And there's the front, going to the white pipe cat. Three catalytic converters, single exhaust. I really would uh, love to have killed, killed the exhaust on this thing because it's rather restrictive. Here's the front control arms. Sway bar. You can see the, the jacket around the motor. Oil pan. Yeah, it looks for such an oily mess. It looks rather nice right now. Uh, it leaks it leaks oil in the rear of the block of the, off the head. But I I keep up with oil always. And uh, here's the front air dam. All right, let's go to the other side, and then I'll pop the hood for you and wrap the video up for now before the weather goes south. And I'm also test driving that Toyota in Meriden, which I hate driving to. Here's the front. Oil pan. All that good stuff. Here. Take a look. Maybe I can flip the phone around for you look at the maybe the wheel hub. I can't see what I'm looking at, but let's give it a shot. So, pretty nice. Gosh, it wasn't for, if it wasn't